Hi friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay tuned with the rest of my videos. This is episode four of my spring break series and this is episode one of Italy. So if you haven't caught up with the episodes earlier in this series yet, we were in Frankfurt and Munich previously and we caught a flight to come to Rome. So this was our first day in Rome and this was our first dinner. Basically, we landed, got checked into our hotel, and immediately came to this amazing restaurant. It was called Ristorante La Pentosia. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but it was absolutely amazing. The service was amazing, and we had a nice little street view, so that was super special. After eating, we wasted absolutely no time and started exploring right away, so we went into the Santa Maria Basilica and look at that, it was absolutely stunning. The architecture in Rome is just something you have to experience for yourself at some point in your lifetime. It is so amazing and just the binding between old and new is perfect. So, of course, it's Rome, so we had to stop for some gelato. We got three different flavors. I believe we got some sort of vanilla flavor, pistachio, which is my absolute favorite, and then a mint chocolate. We spent some more time getting lost in the streets of Rome and were able to see the golden glow of the sunset on all of the buildings. It was so beautiful. Um, this was such a special trip. I, I love everything about it. The following morning, we got up bright and early to get in our nicest clothes because today was Vatican Day. So we went to the Vatican City and explored the galleries for almost the entire day. And this was such a special experience. I'm really excited to share it with you. But before we could get into all that, we had to grab some breakfast. So I grabbed basically everything from the buffet, got some fruit, some quiche, eggs, and fresh mozzarella, which was amazing. Here we are walking up into the museums, actually on either side of the museum they had a little viewing platform and we were able to see St. Peter's Basilica from there. That was really, really cool. I got some pictures there as well. So along with the indoor exhibits, there were a lot of courtyards scattered around the museums and this was one of them. I thought it was super cute. They had some orange trees growing, sculptures, and this ground, like just everything. The attention to detail in this place was absolutely amazing.
Unfortunately, filming or pictures of any kind were not allowed in the basilica itself, so I was not able to get any footage from that, but I was able to enjoy the experience with my family and just take the whole atmosphere in. Basically, to sum it up, it was a bunch of murals all over the walls, a bunch of people sitting and praying, and it was super peaceful. After seeing everything that the museum had to offer, we relaxed in the center courtyard for a little bit. It was very beautiful. Lots of greenery, lots of beautiful architecture, and then it was time to leave. We walked down this super cool spiral staircase, and the stairs were so elongated that it was like barely stepping down until you got towards the end, um, so that was kind of cool. So after we left, we walked around for a bit, and then we found lunch. The restaurant we decided on was Tavernalino. It was this super charming place. We were, of course, the only ones in there at noon because Italians prefer to eat their lunch a little bit later, um, but we were hungry. So we got some delicious appetizers. I got cacio e pepe for my main course. Of course, we all had to try a bite of each other's. So my mom got some meatballs, my brother got a ravioli, and my dad got a pizza and we all shared and it was super delicious. What you're looking at right here is the beautiful Vittoriano. We were wandering around this area to kill off some time before our next planned excursion, which was touring the catacombs. So once our tour guide was ready, we hopped in his car and he drove us out of this area into a new area in which the catacombs were buried. The catacombs we chose to visit were the catacombs of San Castillo. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to film inside because it is a sacred place. This is where popes are buried. Um, so out of respect, of course, I did not film, but the location was beautiful and it was a super cool experience. They actually told us that previous tours had had the skeletons or the skeletal remains of the popes inside of the catacombs, but they had to be removed due to people being disrespectful and taking bones as souvenirs. So we weren't able to see the bones of the popes, but we were able to see the tombs in which they were buried. As the sun began to set and the day began to come to a close, we explored the Roman forums, and this is where a lot of excavation goes on, where they uncover a bunch of remains from the Roman city. Uh, and this was super duper cool. It was really neat to see all of the old mixed in with the new modern Rome. No wonder my happy heart sings. Your love has given me wings. Things of cute and sunny, cozy, non return to my view. Of course, we had to end off our day with more delicious food. This was less of a fancy Italian restaurant and more of an Italian pub. There was actually a large group of Scottish men sitting next to us. There was a game, of course, they came to support their team. And one of them was wearing a kilt and gave this to my brother for no reason. We were just conversing with him and he decided to give that to my brother and it was from the Highlands of Scotland, as he said, so that was super duper special, and I hope my brother holds that memory forever. Even after a huge dinner, I can always save room for a sweet treat, so my brother and I decided to get some crepes. I got mine with white chocolate and strawberry. As you can see, she's making it here. Oh my god, that looks amazing. 
Um, and my brother got his with Nutella and banana. They were super delicious and a great way to end off the night. So unfortunately, this is where this vlog comes to a close. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed watching as much as I enjoyed filming this. Rome is a beautiful place and I hope to see you in the next episode where we finish exploring Rome as well as going on a day trip to the beautiful Positano. I love you. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Oh, my.